All right, round three. Yeah, it's a keep. So, I don't think, I still don't think I want to cycle the Canyon Slough. Because we probably want to hard cast that Stir the Sands, I'm thinking. Probably. Sacred Cat. Alright, well, we can play the Priest to keep that dude at bay. I mean, the rat's actually not terrible against it, because it just gets rid of that embalm, but that's okay. Two people can play at this anointed priest game, huh? Well, oh, that's interesting. Did not seem like great value for my opponent, but I certainly like it. I mean, granted, they're going to gain a life with their Anointer Priest, but it seems irrelevant to me. The zombie art, I like it. Oh, my opponent said, good luck. Once again, I'm sorry if you've uh, messaged me, if you've played me and you're a viewer and I don't respond. It's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because I, once again, I, I hate to continuously rag on how horrible I think the MTGO interface is, but uh, it's because I'm not paying attention to the chat window. I have it on a separate... Uh, monitor because it takes up too much space on my screen. Ooh. Well, let us let the synergy begin. So we'll play the Sun Mare into the Avon into the Stir the Sands. We could actually go Sun Mare into Stir the Sands, better use of mana, and we'd still gain life, which is pretty cool. Ritualist. I feel like we're up against good colors in terms of our Sun Mare getting there, but we'll find out. There's still, like, uh, whatever that thing is called with the thing. What is it called? Four mana. Cast out. I think either way, even if I draw a land, I probably just play the Avon because I want a flyer. Cycling the Beneath the Sands. Digging for something. And Pride Sovereign is pretty good. But we can always lethal sting that too. I think I want to get my indestructible horse going first, but that might be a tad greedy, so we'll probably just lethal sting that thing to start her off. And the fact that they're tapped out is actually very good, too, because we can attack with our uh, Crested Sun Mare. So I can actually attack with Sun Mare first, and then Lethal Sting, because they might be tempted to do some bad blocking. Because they actually don't have a way to kill it that I can see. I guess they do have a Ritualist up. So if they have a combat trick, they can. But I'm not going to worry about that. So let's just Lethal Sting this now. Put a counter on the Priest. Deal with 
the Pride Sovereign before it becomes an issue. And we'll pass. I don't want them getting all sorts of life-linking cats. Pride Sovereign with Crescent Sunmare would be pretty sweet, though. On crop champion, okay. That's fair. I can beat that still. So let's start getting some indestructible horses, shall we? Okay, that actually doesn't matter. Not exactly sure what the point of that was. Doesn't actually change anything. I wasn't going to attack with the Sun Mare or the Rat anyway, so. Oh yeah, and we I forgot. Here's the the non bow synergy, unfortunately. Actually, okay, okay. I just realized I can I can cycle I could theoretically, okay, I can cycle Stir the Sands on my opponent's turn to gain a life off a Noitre Priest to get a Sun Mare token at the end of turn. That's not, that's a little more of a surprise. Whatever, and I guess having two extra 2-2s two doesn't do very much on this board, so it might actually be a better idea to just get the extra card out of it. But then again, I might just want to play the Dauntless Haven, too. I'm not exactly sure. Just yet. Trial of Solidarity. I don't think we're going to die, though. We're at 24 life. And we have an indestructible horse on top of that. Even if you could connect with everything, it's not lethal. I mean, it doesn't really make... Well, I guess, why not exert since it has Vigilance anyway, but it didn't actually do anything. So then we'll just prevent damage, and we'll take six, and I think we walk out of this pretty smoothly. Okay, so we can play the Stir of the Sands. We have the impeccable timing. We're looking pretty good here. I think we're just going to smash with everything. Hmm, but that's not good enough. I don't get it. Because it keeps it alive? But then we'll just do this, though. Alright, and then we'll get rid of your dude you can bring back. And we'll leave up the Stir the Sands. Except I don't have my <laughs> no Ether Priest anymore. I guess that doesn't work. That's okay, I still would have just smashed my opponent for quite a bit there. So we're playing in green-white beats. They have Trial of Solidarity and pretty efficient beaters as well as Pride Sovereign. So their deck is pretty good. I think they made some Fairly awkward plays there, but uh, 
choose a card name. I don't think tokens count as cards, do they? I mean, I guess we'll find out when I play the card if I can name a token or not, but maybe you can just name tokens. Tokens are cards. I guess I could quick Google search that. Are tokens cards? Are tokens cards? Uh, no. There is no card named Angel, and tokens are not cards. Got it. All right, so it does not work on tokens. But it does stop other things, so... All right, let's just run this back. I don't think... We still don't really have anything special here, so... Let's run it back. Yes, this is a good hand. Okay. Nice. So we can go Avenger into Bone Slasher. Not bad. Maybe if they just curve out creatures and I... Maybe if they play a turn two creature and I draw a swamp, I, I may just do the Bantu's Last Reckoning. Alright, alright. Seems like it might be the right play here, but we'll, we'll have to see if we draw that swamp first. That's a pretty important part of it. Didn't draw it. Um, I still think we want to do Bantu's Last Reckoning, so we're going to hold back the Avenger. I mean, we can Sandblast next turn if it's an emergency. Otherwise, we ideally draw a Swamp at some point. It looks like they're just pumping. We can sandblast the Avenger next turn if we have... Oh. Interesting. Okay. I definitely don't want a Reckoning yet. So... We're still just going to chill. I'll sandblast the Avenger. Maybe they'll pre-combat a creature? You never know. care of that dude. Hmm. So maybe we just play Hmm. I guess they're at two mana. This is kinda awkward. I, mean, I don't want to reckoning one creature. At the same time, they have five spells in hand. Ugh. All right. Play the Avenger. Could have just played the Bone Slasher, but I'm thinking I might actually trade. But is that a waste? I don't know. Kind of feels like a waste. Then again, I guess I could still potentially win this race. Which means what? I'm... Supposed to probably play my creature. <laughs> Alright, we're taking it. I didn't play or pump. That's not what I expected. Alright. Let's get in there with the Avenger and we'll play the Aven. So I guess we're not playing Bantu's Last Reckoning. Whoa. That's pretty irresponsible play by our opponent there, but I like it.
I think I, I almost want to just block the Sandwall if they attack with it. Just eat up their mana and I'll progress my board. But I probably don't. I actually don't know. Because, I mean, I guess I probably pretty handily win this race. And if I rip another land, I get to just go Bone Slasher Minotaur. Yeah, I suppose we just allow them to hit us with the Sandwalla. Unless they don't want to for some reason. It's like they are having a hard time here. Okay, they're going to cycle, which is strange. Because why wouldn't you want to attack with your... Sandwalla first. My opponent has been... Yeah, they've... They made pretty questionable decisions all around here. Uh, Alright, so now we get in. And exert. And just blocking, okay. So, we'll play a Scrounger. I think this game is just GG's, because they're just making weird decisions here all around. Tapping one creature, not pumping and attacking, but cycling instead. Blocking something they didn't have to block. Like, even them having Pride Sovereign here is presumably not good enough. Pretty unnecessary. So I guess we'll get in for six. Taking them to 11, which means next turn with the elite plus all my dudes, it's absolutely going to be pretty gosh darn lethal. Ooh, so they do have the double cat. That's pretty good, actually. And they have a lifelink cat oh, that they didn't attack with. Man, are we going to make them regret that? Jeez. Okay. So. God, we just could not punish them more here, could we? I guess we'll play the Minotaur. Pride Sovereign and a Regal Caracol is pretty good, though, admittedly. So despite my opponent's just miss, not even a misplay, just bad decision into bad decision into bad decision, they still managed to force my hand with that Bantu's Last Reckoning. Plus, I can't play anything on my next turn. Just multiple renunciations? Haze of Pollen. That's interesting. Well, since you've done it pre-combat, I guess I won't attack. Speed. So we smash with the Minotaur, and then we play a Mummy and a Bone Slasher. Excavator. 
No lands in yard though. And that's that. All right, that was a weird match. Okay, so we ended up going two one, which I'll take. And I uh, got to abuse Crescent Sunmare, maybe a game or two. Not not bad. And Bantu's Last Reckoning did some work for us in match one, so that's cool. I hope you enjoyed the deck. Thanks so much for watching, folks. We'll be back for.